Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video on how you can use Apple Notes to do OCR. If you're like me, many times I'm writing things down on paper, I'm writing things on my tablet, and sometimes I want, just want to copy and paste that information into a note, not just have a photo of it. Also, sometimes I want to scan documents or books and get the text into notes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that on your iPhone, your iPad, or Mac OS. And just to be clear, this is not about scanning documents with your iPhone where you hold your phone and you scan down the page and grab text. That's a different function. This is really about optical character recognition, taking a photo, taking an image, and then being able to extract the text out. I should also call out that I'm working with iOS 26 and Mac OS Tahoe 26. So some of the advice might be a little bit different from what you're used to, but generally the same. All right, let's talk about the four types of OCR you can do. I'm going to go from the easiest to the hardest. Obviously, the easiest one is going to be just photos, like photos of a textbook or photos of some handwritten notes. Next are PDFs, which are fairly easy to grab the text out of. Then we're going to look at scans. And scan is that special function that you get in Apple Notes using your iPhone or iPad, which will adjust the orientation and the exposure. And finally, digital handwritten notes. And oddly enough, this is the hardest text to OCR, especially using Mac OS. All right, let's do the easy one first, and that's just to grab text out of images. We'll start with the textbook, and it's even easier on your iPad or your iPhone because all you have to do, you don't even have to go into Apple Notes. You can just go into Photos, and you can see here I have my screen up on my iPhone, and you can just open the photo, and there's a little box down on the lower right that just says Copy All Text, and it basically highlights everything. You can just copy all and paste that in your notes. Super easy um, to, to do that. If you have a Mac and you don't have an iPhone or an iPad, you can just take the picture of the book or the text in with any camera that you have and then just paste the image into the note and if you have once you have the image in the note you just click on it right click and you do a quick look attachment and then you have the same thing you just double click a word you do command a select all the text copy the text and then you can paste it in the note very easy it's just as easy with handwritten notes. I can do the exact same thing. I can have a photo of my notebook. You can see I have my iPhone here. I have the same icon. I just click that. I copy all and I can paste that right into my note. Again, if I don't have an iPhone or iPad, I can just paste the image in, my, in an Apple note, open that up, right click, do a quick look attachment. Same thing, just double click and or command A, select it all, paste it in your note. Super easy. You can do this with any kind of written text, be it notebooks, be it letters, be it textbooks that you want to copy information out of. Great way just to get information into Apple Notes. All right, next up is PDFs. Super easy, just like photos. All you do is embed your PDF into a note. Then you uh, open that note. You can see here I have it open on my iPhone. All you have to do is double click in the text and then you can just highlight sections, copy and paste it in your note. Same thing on the Mac. All you have to do is just open up the PDF here. You can see I can just double click. I can highlight, right click, copy, paste. Very easy. All right, the next one is a little trickier. If any of you viewers have some ideas on how to do this other than what I'm showing you, please add that to the comments because this one stumps me a little bit. First, on the iPhone, if you've taken a scan, so using the scan feature from the iPhone where you position it over the document and it squares it up for you and provides a nice clean image, to get the text out of this, the only way I have found on the iPhone is to actually print it out. So you need to share this and go to print. So you come up with your print options you hold down on the image, it brings it up, double click it to generate the PDF, and then once the PDF is generated, at this point you can just double click Control A, you can just select it all by dragging your finger and then paste it in your note. On your Mac, it's a little easier, you can open up the scan, you can right click on that, I'm sorry, you can go to the down arrow here and do a quick look attachment like the other one, do a quick look, then you can double click on something, control A, copy and paste. So if you know a trick on iOS or on the iPad that works with scans better than what I'm showing you, I'd be very interested to, to find out. I have not found that answer. All right, last up is digital handwriting. And this one's a little bit more complex than the other ones. 
First, let's just take a look at your iPhone and iPad and how you would do this. So if I have some simple text here, pardon my handwriting, I just created a simple note. And all you have to do is highlight the note, highlight the text, and you can just select it all. Then you can right click on it and you can say copy as text. Simple enough. If I come over here, I can paste it and you can see it pasted the text. On the Mac, however, you can't do the same. You can't select it. You can't open it with Quick Look. There's only one way to do it. You have to do a screenshot. So all you have to do is Command Shift 4. You grab the part of the image you want to capture. That'll save on your desktop. Then you can open that image in preview from the desktop and you can copy and paste the text that way. Again, if you know of a different way of how to do this, I'd, I'd really like to hear, but that's the only way I know how to do it on Mac OS with digital handwriting. All right, that's it. I hope you found that useful. That's all the ways I know how to do OCR with Apple Notes. I know I use this quite often. I like to ha extract information into my notes. I know that you can add images and PDFs, etc., cetera, and, and use search in Apple Notes. Some people like to use that. But I, I really like to have some of that information so I can manipulate it and use it in future output that I create. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. Um, I'm going to be creating more videos on tools, technologies that you can use to learn and learning techniques uh, coming up in the future. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and take care.